going on guys this is Josh the disc golf dad and today I'm wanting to just show you um, a tip and I figure I might start doing this every now and then I'm not a pro I play advanced but uh, I found myself in situations during tournaments that I've been able to get out of pro or tough situations with using different shots that not a lot of people use on the lower side I know uh, higher level people will and I mean, some of them are much better than me, but uh, I figured that'll be something I'll try to throw into the channel every now and then, just some tips and stuff, just so it kind of save you some strokes like it has for me before, but uh, let's get into it. So this shot that I'm wanting to show you today, I don't have like the perfect place to show you exactly how to use it, but usually if I'm throwing this shot, I'm squeezed up against a tree that's keeping me from backhanding, and then the forehand line is either cut off, or if I throw a forehand, it's gonna go too straight usually, or not get right enough, just because it naturally just wants to get to the ground. Uh, it's, it's pretty much a tomahawk, or a hammer, whatever you wanna call it, but it's thrown really pretty vertical, and the only goal for this shot is to get it to go and just flip enough to where it pans to its top and lands on its belly and slides to the right. I've used this a lot in tournaments and it's got me out of trouble a few times. I, I call it a belly flop because that's what I'm doing. I'm throwing it up and I'm wanting to pan to the right and then it hits on its top and then it continues to slide to the right. It's a useful shot for me. Uh, also, it's good if you're in a really dense part of uh, woods or something like that. You get off the right side of a fairway that's got a lot of trees because whenever you're throwing this again, vertical anyways, it's not taking up as much space this way. So it, it, can, it has more potential to miss trees and glance off of them. So it might help you get a little bit more forward. Sometimes you can throw this way left of the basket. But as long as you don't throw it like crazy hard and make it go too straight, you just kind of throw it up and uh, up, and you're just wanting it just to pan out. It doesn't take a lot of power, so I'm gonna see if I can throw one. One's gonna be awesome. Fall. I'm just gonna try to hit the gap here. I'm gonna wait myself. throw another one. That one was a fairway, it was a, or a hybrid, it was a hybrid one too. I'm going to do it with the MT as well. I'll grab the camera and we'll walk and see where those ended up. So I threw right out above those branches right there. And the reason I say I use this over a forehand is sometimes if you throw a forehand, instead of it making it out here to where these discs did and slid, forehand would end up in this in these bushy areas and get you get you a little too inside as opposed to like how this H3V2 did got me out wide slid and if i was playing to that basket i'd have a wide open bit at the basket i'll try to do this right to the small gap it's not generally the exact shape that i would try this on but sometimes if you get a tricky situation you might have to try to use something like this uh, you don't have to use a fairway or a mid sometimes you can use a putter uh, for me if i am doing this shot I usually am going to like a premium plastic just because I'm wanting it to slide. So if I'm throwing a putter, it's just, I'm gonna be throwing it cause it's gonna be more gentle on its uh, pan. It's just gonna go and once it hits, it'll slide. Domi putters work really good for it. So I'll move over to the side. Oh, well, that would have been perfect, but I hit a stump. That's one of the risks. Yes, this one has to go. There we go. I hit 
that I clipped that I clipped this branch right here, but it's still held its little line belly flop and slid. I'll take you and show you how close that got to the basket as well. Alright, so this was the gap that I was throwing from the right over here. So I went right through here. You'll see a couple of the discs I threw, but this one right here was perfect, but I hit this gigantic piece of wood that's sticking up out the ground. So that's going to be a risk on these shots. Kind of know the terrain you're throwing when you're doing it, but this one right here slid to within like a 10 foot putt tapping. I'm just trying to show you in an open area what this flies like. You gotta remember this isn't just this isn't for distance. It's for trouble shots that'll get you more distance maybe or closer to the pin than what you could have got in a trouble situation. So this isn't gonna be a very far shot, but it's gonna be the shape. I'm gonna take it like I said, so pretty vertical. Might not be exactly vertical. All I'm wanting is that tan belly flop. Just pretty much just like that. Some situations it's probably going to be hitting the ground earlier than that. And that's pretty much the exact flight right there. You're wanting it, usually I'm wanting it to hit the ground at this angle. So it'll scoot off to the right. I don't want it really to hit flat. I want it to come in on that angle. And it's hard to tell out in the field, but uh, it works pretty good in a situation where you've got a, something over to the right, but it's at a weird distance for you to get there. And those are just digging, but if you're on like a, uh, a beat in wooded course that doesn't have a lot of underbrush on it. It's, it's been played a lot. You got a lot of just dirt fairways and stuff that's just leaves and junk. They'll scoot across that stuff. So I might have a video of me throwing this, I don't know, in a situation from around here recently. If I do, I'll throw that in here. But I know I did it and it saved me a par. And I was in a weird place. I couldn't have got to the basket any other. watching if this helped you let me know share this video like it subscribe I've got a giveaway that I'm gonna be doing once I get a uh, hundred subscribers and then there will be more to come after that so like I said click that subscribe button till next time